All right, we gotta get all the fry out of the tumbler and into... Greetings everybody, this is Paul the Inventory King. I hope that you guys are all having an awesome day and enjoying your fish. It would be amazing if you guys could click the subscribe button and that notification bell and join me on my fish keeping adventures by subscribing. So as you can see, we got the Hawk Tank, Tumbler Full of Fish, Marina Breeder Box. It's time to move them into the Breeder Box because their egg sack is gone. So therefore they need to be fed now with actual food and we gotta get them in there. So first things first, let's go ahead and unhook the air and then set this right over here. Let's go. Now this is pretty cool. One of the things I did was I notched out the lid so that these large breeder boxes could fit here and still be, um, the lid could still be on here to prevent fish from jumping. Um, that is what is amazing about these plastic lids is you can customize them any way. All right, so before we go ahead and get the fry move, let's take a look at some of these fish in this tank. Look at this guy back here. This is the tangerine tiger. That dude is something else, I gotta tell you. And if the lighting was better in here. All right, here's some updates. So this guy here and that one there, those are the Champsochromis spilorhynchus that I got from the cichlid shack. I'm not sure if you guys remember how small they were when I got them, but you know, they've got some good size on them now. Look at the Z-Rock, man. Flexing, super sexy. <whistles> Dang. Let's see what else. So that's the tiny Olethronops privatalis. Amazing egg spots. Not coloring up, not a dominant fish for sure, but Never know, one day that might just change. Uh, look at this guy. Dang. That dude is awesome. I think he's the tank boss. All right, what else do we got in here? Do you guys remember when I picked up this guy from the wet spot? He's getting size. Looking really good. Let's see. Okay, look at this guy. The Phoenix. Here we go, come on. The, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Dude, it is something else. That is the Lepturus Green that I am hoping is a female. It's gonna just chill in this tank. That tiny guy right there, <laughs> that is the, um, that is the, uh, oh man, why is this name evading me? The Ornatus, Protomelus Ornatus. Getting a little bit bigger. He was tiny when I got him. And the one there on the left, getting size on, getting size on it for sure. That is what I believe to be the Macrostoma. Uh, some other people said that it is a Nigroventor. I'm going to lean macrostoma. Um, if you disagree, feel free to comment. I mean, look at that. Look at that Borley eye. Look at the fins. If you love fins, you need to get a Borley eye. Look at the fins on this dude. They just flow. Those pelvic fins are just, just amazing. Man. This here is one of my remaining original Madoka white lip fry from my mail. This guy's probably three and a half inches maybe. And uh, look at the lips. Look at the lips. There he is, look at him. Super awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and scoop this thing up. So I'm taking out the air stone for now because I need this airline and I don't uh, feel like getting another one set. 
So we got the airline up here on the central air system, ready to roll. So what we need to do is hook up this valve. This little valve goes on the end of the line and it's got this screw on top which allows you to adjust your airflow. Next we get the line and we hook it up to the other side. Next piece to the puzzle is going to be these two. They go in here and then the airline hooks up to this. What we're going to do is we're going to fill this up a little bit just to get things going here. Okay, now that we're all set, we're going to go ahead and pull the tumbler out. So just take the lid off, move it off to the side because we want the little ones to stay submersed. And then we're going to make a one, two, three quick motion. One, two, three. Okay, they're still good, still full of water. Let's go. Time to release the fish. There we go. Now this goes here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I have a little bit of food here that's got some powder in there. So we're going to go ahead and try to see if I can get some powder on my finger for those little fish. Yeah, we got some. Let's see what happens. What do they do? Yeah, yeah. You can see him going at it. That's good. Good sign. Triple S. So like I was saying with the uh, lid, we're going to go ahead and set the lid. We're pretty much there. Let's see, got to move it just a smidge. There we go. So you can see it's per sits in there perfectly. Not going to be a problem. Man, this is exciting times. I know I mentioned it before, but I was having the worst luck for a while. And to have some babies here, it is absolutely awesome. It feels good. I'm really happy. They finally did it. They finally bred. Still trying to figure out ways to help make the females more comfortable. It definitely seems like I gotta add something, maybe uh, you know, maybe another rock or so, or kind of try to figure out a way to make it more comfortable for them because it seems like they're not comfortable enough. Um, but they're fish, and they will figure it out. Man, man, I know I showed you guys before, but this Lepturus green over here. Wow. The one that I thought was possibly a female is absolutely 100% a male, showing every single sign it is a male. The other one, I'm still unsure, leaning male because of the uh, anal fin and the egg spots. And like I said, I got one down here that I'm hopeful is a female. So who knows? Maybe one day I won't just have Malawi hawks. Maybe one day I'll have Lepturus green. We will have to see. <laughs> you should see these guys, they're cute. Little, small, swimming around. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you everybody for tuning in and watching the video. We got healthy fish. Things are going great here in the fish room. We got some awesome things coming up. An unboxing video that 
has got something super cool and it's related to the saltwater tank, to the reef tank. So stay tuned for that. Also got a really cool DIY video coming out soon, so stay tuned for that as well. Things are starting to cook again. We're ready to roll here in the fish room. This is Paul the Inventory King. Thank you for watching. If you guys could comment down below, like the video, I would be honored if you could click the subscribe button and the notification bell, and join me on my fish keeping adventures by subscribing. These fish are distracting me. I gotta see why they're kinda going so crazy over here. Thank you everybody, and stay tanked.